Hi everyone, so today's video is this look, and this is kind of my everyday glam that I do. It's um, it's natural looking, it's not like, whew, but um, I really enjoy this and I think it looks nice. So if you just, something like you were to a wedding or maybe like a little get together with your friends, I believe this look is what you would do. So yeah, just keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. So first I'm taking this Smashbox photo finish lid primer in the shade light and I'm just putting this all over my lids lids to prep for my eyeshadow and really you want to put a good layer on there all right and then using a really small one of my swallow beauty blenders I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put that everywhere and then now taking a white translucent setting powder. I'm using um, the white shade from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and the shade White Peach. I'm just putting this everywhere. I'm taking the shade Pure A. I'm just going to blend this in my crease very lightly just so this can get distributed nice. And then taking the shade Summer Yum, I'm just going to blend this in my crease once again, kind of more towards the down part of my eye um, in the crease. Just kind of the depth in this look. And I'm bringing that all the way in. Just keep blending it. Kind of like this motion I'm doing right here. That looks, or it works really well. A more uh, flat blending brush like this. I'm going to take Charmed, I'm sure, and work this kind of in the outer corner right here. Just to darken this look up and depth in it. I'm just going to keep on blending and kind of wing it out a little bit. Then I'll go on to the next eye. Do the same exact thing. Same brush. I'm going to use this color Delectable just to darken this um, outer corner. And Delectable is kind of a dark purple shade. And it looks really nice once it's all blended out. So just keep on blending just to get this nice kind of smoky eye look. On a more precise brush like this, I'm going to take the same color Delectable and just kind of put that more in my outer corner just to get it more darkened. I sprayed this flat brush with setting spray and I put the shade Bellini on it and setting it makes um, the shades more pigmented I really like how they look better and I'm just gonna put this shade on the inner half of my lid just layering it on And wings are something that take time and practice. I, it's probably taken me two years to get a decent looking wing. So yeah, just keep practicing. So I recently ran out of my, I had two primers and I ran out of both of them. So I've been using this uh, Vaseline Intensive Care. It's uh, it's just like a, it's a moisturizer, but it works really good as a primer. And it just, it looks, it literally my makeup is still the same once it's done and it lasts the same amount of time so you know I think I busted the myth and I don't know if you need a primer but for sure moisturizer or something just a base to go under your foundation works really well. Recently my girl Alejandra gave me this Wet n Wild foundation it's in rose ivory and I really like it and I think it matches my skin really well. I've already blended it down my neck and I think it looks perfect for my skin tone. I do have um naturally rosy cheeks so this is a rose color so I think it looks nice and the ending looks good. In this area I used Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair which is 15 so I just put this all on my chin and then I'm gonna put a little on my nose and then taking a different concealer this is I got in my Ipsy bag and I actually really love it it's the Hey Honey Trick and Treat it's um concealer but it works really good and it's 
not drying like other concealers I've used, and then I'm going to put a little bit more on my nose, and then taking Beauty Blender, pat this out on my chin. And then for my nose and my eye area, I'm going to take my smaller Beauty Blender, start with my eyes. And for this eyeshadow, I'm just going to try and get as close as possible to just line this up so it's just, you know, a straight line. But for my concealer, I do that in the Beauty Blender. When the eye is done. Alright, and I feel a little bit red right here, um, so I'm going to put a little bit more of my foundation. Just kind of build that up. And I didn't t my um, redness foundation and concealer doesn't really cover it that well, but it can get a little bit of coverage. But other than that, it doesn't really that well with my nose. I just pat it in and I bring it up a little bit. I'm taking my Airspun Loose Powder in Naturally Neutral. I'll dump some of the powder in this top lid and I set my face everywhere and I just pat it in like so. And once I've completed doing that, I'm taking this It Cosmetic Powder and this is called the Bye Bye Pores Press and it's a translucent powder. I got this in my Ipsy bag and I have fallen in love with it. And I put this under my eyes, like so. And then I put some on my nose. I feel as if this powder just soaks up all the extra moisture and like oils in your skin that you don't want to come through at the end of the day. All right, and now taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. I do my brows. And I let the powder still sit on my face. So I take a little bit on my brush. And I start with my under brow just to line it up. Taking it like so. And then after I've done this line, I take the leftover product because it's less. And I put it on the inner part of my eyeball. Or not my eyeball, my eyebrow. Taking more product. I then line my top brow, oh so carefully to follow my hair lines, and bringing this down to meet at this end of tail point. And then with the excess product, I'll line my top line on my brow, and then I'm going to bring this Okay, and grabbing more product, place this here, and work my way up towards the first part of my brow. Alright, and with the excess product, I'm just going to flick my brush up. To give it this, the ombre effect, it took me about two years to actually finally perfect this ombre effect eyebrow. There's a little bald spot right here. But yeah, practice literally makes perfect. I've been practicing makeup since, oh, probably sixth grade. I know it's not the best. Alright, and then using the same powder thing as earlier, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off this excess powder. all over my face all right and to like bronze slash contour I use this um, Milani brow kit in the shade medium it works really well for me and it's something I just I haven't gotten around to buying an actual um, contour kit 
So this is what I use for now and I like it and to me it works fine. So yeah. And I just lightly brush it on my cheekbones and then I kind of move it up into the hairline. I'll do this to both cheeks and then I go ahead and I do the same thing to my forehead, just lightly brush it. And this brush, I have no idea where I found it from. I found it, it was in my bathroom, I don't know where I got it from, but it's really, it's like a, it's kind of denser and I just really like it for doing this. Moving on to my under eyes, I'm going to be taking Summer Yum from this palette, the Too Faced Too Peach palette, and I'm just going to angle my brush and just sweep this underneath all of my eye bringing it down a little bit um and then I'll put a darker shade closer to my waterline so this is how that's gonna look and then taking charmed I'm sure I will press this even closer to my line I'm gonna blend it out a little bit, and that's what it looks like. So it kind of matches the colors I used on the top. And to highlight my brow bone and inner corner, I'm using the same palette. It's the Nectar shade, and I really like the way this color, not this color, the high, just the highlight, how it just really gives you a really good looking pop. See that? It's nice. And then I'll take the same, put it right in that inner corner. And just really see the difference, it just brightens you up. And moving on to the face highlight, my friend got me this Fenty Beauty stick in Starstruck for my birthday and I love it, it is so good. So I'll just put this on the highest part of my cheekbones, just rubbing it a couple times, doing the same side. Do that, then I'll go my nose and bring it up a little bit. And in this corner here, here, and then on my lips. And it's, you don't want a straight line, so I usually just blend it out with my fingers a little bit all the way through, and then I'm done with my highlight. And so I went ahead and I curled my lashes, and I am just putting falsies on right now. And um, so I just put glue, thin layer of glue, and you want to try and get them as close to your eyelashes as possible without being on them. Anyways. Is that. And then I'm going to go ahead and wait for this glue to dry. Once those have completely dry, I go ahead and I put mascara on my natural lash lashes and blend them up. Now, I know you're not supposed to do this, but I do this. <laughs> and then I go ahead and put them on the bottom lash. Both sides. Alright, and now for lips. Camera's tilted. I go ahead and I use this, um, I got some my Ipsy bag and it worked really good to just moisturize my lips and I use this for if I'm gonna do a matte lip. And so this just put all on. Kinda let it dry first before I put it on. And I got this, um, Long wear matte lip gloss. It's by Beauty Creations. I got this in my mall. It was like three bucks and I actually really like it a lot and it looks, I think it'll look good with this um, color scheme I went with today. So, and I'm not that good at applying lipsticks because I don't really wear them that often, but go over with another layer and there we go. So that's all for lips today. All right, and this is the finished product to my everyday glam that I do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and just kind of got any tips or tricks to do for yourself. And thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Have a good day, everyone.